So what we have here um, for all you math teachers is a website I found that will let you create your uh, equations. That way we can get them into Edmodo. Now Edmodo, the only way it lets you do equations in there is if um, you use a language called LaTeX. Um, spelled LaTeX, but I, from what I've been told it's pronounced LaTeX. Um, I found this free online uh, equation editor. I know that there are some that are paid out there. Um, but until we make a further decision on our one-to-one -one technology, I wanted to go through this just to kind of explain to you how all of this works. Um, so if you were to give a quiz or wanted to give some assignments on Edmodo, you would be able to um, use this to get your equations on there. So this editor uh, is going to help me create um, my equation. Now, when you think of LaTeX, it's basically code, and that can be very difficult. So I'm going to walk you through a couple uh, different equations that we can put in here and show you how to put those into a quiz. Um, so I'm going to just stick with basic math right now. I know uh, some of you, uh, maybe in the higher levels, get into Greek, uh, into relations, uh, maybe some logic or, or different things uh, here that you can see, but I'm just going to stick with our basic math functions uh, for right now. So uh, let, let's start and look at our first equation that uh, I'm going to do. Um, let's say it's just a simple equation of y equals, um, let's say it's uh, x squared plus 3. So I'm going to look here and I'm going to find uh, here is my x to a, uh, with a uh, higher power. You can also change this symbol if you want from x to a c or, or to uh, any other a variable that you would like. So I, this is going to be y squared and then it's going to be plus 3. So this is the actual law text format uh, right here. And, and we'll look at this at another equation here in a second. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to copy that and paste that into my quiz. Well we've already seen here that I've uh, done it before so let me delete this and just walk through everything uh, that we can do here. So my question prompt, I'm going to put my equation into the question, but we have to let Edmodo know uh, that it needs to convert that from LaTeX. So you have to start your equation with uh, bracket math, in bracket, and then open bracket slash math. So all I do is I just copy this and then paste it in front, and then I'll paste it at the end. I'll copy this and paste it at the end. So that will come up as an equation. So I'm going to type into this uh, solve for x if y equals equals if I could type today if y equals 12. So we're going to solve for x if y equals 12. Then down here in my responses, uh, I'll just do a couple real quick. x equals 2 and x equals 3. We obviously know it's uh, 3. 3 squared is 9 plus 3 equals 12. Um, so I'm going to show you what this is going to look like when they go into the quiz. So preview the quiz, go ahead and click start, and then you'll see here comes your equation up here, uh, y equals x squared plus 3, solve for x. Now if you uh, really wanted to get into some advanced things, you would also put LaTeX uh, down here for a and b. Um, so let's end this preview and let's go back just so I can show you real quick. Uh, if I added uh, the, the math beforehand and this was... Uh, a lot text format which this is I can add that in there so you can just add your equations into here as well so now if I preview this quiz I click on start you'll see it loads and it puts it in there as the same format as this you don't have to do it if you're just solving for one variable you can just put your answer in but if your answer is another equation um, it would be important for you to put that very to put the lot text uh, La Tech in there uh, as we go. So I'm going to end this preview. I'm going to leave the page. Now I'm going to go into a couple other more advanced things uh, from this editor that I found. Um, let's say that I wanted to put in um, like a square root of a function. So let's say y equals, and let's say it's going to be some square root. So I'm going to put inside here uh, what what I want. So y equals the square root of x plus 3. 
So then in here, if I wanted to make that an equation, I would just come back out here into my quiz. I would copy that, and then I would put that into the lot text part. So again, I'm just going to paste this here just so you can see what it looks like uh, when, when we uh, preview the quiz. I'm not going to actually assign it. But when I preview, when we start the quiz, you'll see now it's y equals x plus 3. Uh, you can also get more advanced if you would like, let's say you had a square root of an actual equation and you needed like the square root of x squared plus 3. Uh, so in here, inside this, you could actually insert, once you cleared that out, you could insert uh, y equals the square root of x 2 plus 3. So now I'm just going to copy and paste that. Just to show you, remember you have to have the uh, the math and the slash math at the end. Just so you can see what this looks like. So you'll see how it put that in there. So that's how you use the LaTeX in, in quizzes. That's how you would use it in assignments, uh, any time that you would want to post things. You can also do this. Um, let's say that I didn't want to do this quiz and let's say that I just wanted to post this on the screen and I wanted to get some comments uh, from some students. I could literally just post, uh, paste it onto the screen here if I click here and I'm going to do my bracket math and in math. Here at the end uh, let's just choose that I'm going to send this to math slash business for my group. If I go ahead and I send this, you'll see as it posts, it comes up as this. So I could have them solve it in there. I could also assign that as an assignment for them to clear as well. So anywhere you can type in something, you can put in these equations in here. Now, the website that I'm using right here, uh, I put a link to that in our resources. So if you click on your resources, you'll see online latex equation editor. Uh, you can just click on there and go to this. Now, uh, real quick, just so we can pay attention. Notice I've been copying and pasting the code that I type here. Um, what this service actually does will create a, a picture for you. So if you wanted to get a, a PNG, a GIF, all of these different formats, um, you could convert it to that. But I just use it to uh, steal the actual code so I don't have to really know code. This will actually create it for me. So that is what that is. I will also uh, go ahead and I will add this uh, into our resources as well so you can come if you uh, need to copy uh, these two codes uh, to make this work. Um, hopefully when we get a one-to-one -one option we will have a more dedicated program for this for you guys but right now I think this will work uh, and this will help everybody especially in the math world as you start if you want to create any quizzes or do any type of formative assessment that way. I um, hope this helps. If you have any questions, feel free to email me. You guys all know me, my email address or uh, just send me a message on Edmodo and we'll make this work. Have a great day.